hey, 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 I don't think I got anybody yet because it's right on 8 o'clock. Y'all, ain't gonna believe it. Well, you will too. You'll believe it. You will believe it. Okay. <sighs> hey, Tammy. I need more details later, Tammy. On you know what. Um. Okay. So, hey, Pinky. Y'all, today's been a hot mess. Okay. I got a um, freelance project I'm working on. Y'all know I'm a writer. Well, maybe you don't know. I don't know. But um, I'm a writer. Um and um, I'm working on projects, so I had to meet with the person this morning and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so then we had to be up at CHOA, Children's Hospital of Atlanta, with um, Wren, and had to be there, I don't know, I don't know what time, maybe 2.30, 2.40, something, I don't even know. So, here's the deal. I needed to be there today because we're seeing the doctor, and we've been seeing the uh, PA, the PA, Hi, Pinky, the PA for um, two whole years, right? I mean, we love her to death, we do, but it's time to see the doctor. Hello, we're talking childhood cancer. So, um, yeah, so it was it was time to see the doctor. Ninja Man has not met him yet, uh, though he's been driving up there over a year, you know, instead of me for a while. Um, so we all went. And when I say all, are y'all sitting down because, hello, there was me. There was Ninja Man. There was Wren. There was Wren's mommy, our daughter, Auburn, Michelle. There was Phoebe Jo, Wren's big sister. And daughter's, um, gosh, what's it called? The, the dog. I don't know what it's called. The, I can't remember the name of what you call it, y'all. I'm tired. Okay. So the dog's in the back seat, Putin. He couldn't help it. He had to poop now and then. We're in the front seat. Daughter and the dogs, I mean, daughter and the girls are in the back seat. And we're in Ninja Man's truck. And here we are just pooting and riding down the highway. And um, and then we get to the children's hospital. And um, gosh, what's that dog? What is that thing called? Um, not security dog. The uh, gone. So we go, and we're in this little room because that's what they do, right? And whew. so we were in the car like literally 25 minutes ago. I got home. I like threw my face into my makeup because I didn't wear service dog. That's it, Tammy. Thank you, service dog. Um, so I threw my makeup on like really fast because I never wear makeup to the children's hospital. I have a t-shirt that says I'm pretty cool, but I cry a lot, and that's because... Children's Hospital stuff, right? I didn't cry today, though. So, I got things we're going to make. It's a good day. Um, oh, and I'll tell you quick, her checkup is good. I mean, she, you know, she's still, um, she's still in therapy for cancer. And she will be five on September 29th. So, we are very grateful. Uh, we're very grateful that, that there is uh, medicine for her. And that she's doing so well. Um, let me see, see who's on. Come on, there we go. Okay, I got Tammy, Pinky, and it looks like somebody else was on. Okay, so I'm gonna move y'all up there so you can see down here and see what we're gonna make. Cause I got a cool technique to show you, but I'll tell you this, it's a hot mess. I am a hot mess tonight. Cause like I said, I was just in the car like, what, a minute ago? <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold on. If you get drunk easy, don't look. Okie dokie. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Now was it? If it was, don't don't tell me. Ha ha. Okay, there we go. All righty then. Um. So if you need to place an order, the July host code is right here, and. Um, we're using that through the month of July, and if it's under $150, you use this code. Go to my website and use this code. And sorry I got ink on it the other day when I was doing a different video for YouTube. Okay, so one thing I want to show you, a little gift idea. And you know people do Christmas in July, right? 
We'll look at this. This is just a simple notepad, okay? And I have covered, it's actually just the top sheet because it was an open, okay, it won't let me do it. It was an open pad and I basically just glued this to the top sheet and there you go. Isn't that cute as a button? This is a retired um, set here, but you get the idea, super cute. And you can, you can make these marks if you just love this and you're like, oh my gosh, hi Heather. Um, if you're like, oh dear, I, I need this in, in my life. Well, you know, ask me about it and I'll teach you how to do that. Okay, so here are some other pads and these are great for stocking stuffers, things like that. We're gonna make one tonight, but it won't be Christmas. I'm gonna be showing you a new technique with a background stamp and then I'm gonna show you how to make one of these, okay? And like I said, it, it's, it's been a crazy day. Oh, I'll show you the inside here. It's just plain. You know like that this actually had a cardboard front on it and it was an ugly front until I did this so hello um, same with these um, but it's it's been a crazy day and I'm about ten shades next to exhausted but you know what this is this will rejuvenate me right okay if you did not see this on YouTube Y'all scooch over to YouTube and see this card. Um, I showed how to make it, and I made it for a friend of mine. Her husband passed away a year ago this week, and I just want her to know that she's in my heart, and I'm thinking about her because she is precious. Okay, so this is going to be our little, our little book. It's a memo book, and this little thing is going to fit on top. Now the memo book tells me it's three by five. And I believe, oh, come on. Let's see. Um, yeah, right at three. One, two, three, four and a half. I don't, oh, I guess because of this right here, you know. Um, anyway, this is the size I cut it. So about three by four and a half, yeah. Well, maybe a little more than four and a half. Okay, so that's what we're going to use to make it. But first, we're going to do a background stamp. I'm going to show you all the things. Let's see who else is on. Hi, Angela. Phone battery dying. Okay, get to a laptop, Miss Heather. Okay, this is a gorgeous background stamp. It's very trendy. And even after the trend is over, this is going to be pretty cool because paint crackles. It just does. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's old school or new school or whatever school, right? Oh, we can't use that. Hold on. i got to find a piece. But now, this is one thing we'll be dealing with tonight because my crazy day is, um, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's, a, that's an embossing folder. Um, and Angela and I have plans to craft on... Friday and I cannot wait okay so I'm going to cut this down to a more manageable size and let's see if y'all are ever intimidated by these by these cutters don't be you just you just do the do the math so I'm just I don't even know five and a half I don't know I'm gonna put by how big are you uh, a little bit big on that Y'all, really, this this is this is my life today. I'm just kind of um, I gotta measure this guy. He is four and almost three quarters by. I guess I gotta stick him up under there, don't I? I'll oh, come on now. Four and three quarters by whatever that is. Five and three quarters. We'll try that and see how it works. Although I've already cut this one to five and a half, so we're stuck on that. But we'll go to four and whatever I said. How about that? All right, let's see how close I got it. Bingo, how about that? I mean, I'm just trying to get an idea, right? Okay, so when you have a big stamp like this, you've got several options of how to get that ink onto your cardstock. And no, I didn't put this on the back, and I could have, but I didn't because I don't need it. All right, first of all, you can put it in your stamp positioning tool, which is, in my case, the Stamposaurus. 
or you can call it like it's supposed to be called, the Stamparatus. <laughs> but it's more fun if it's a Stamposaurus, right? So you could place it on there and just go, you know, you know, you know, you know, to your, to your card stop. I mean, y'all have seen it before and I've, I could whip it out now if anybody needs to see it. Send me, put a comment down here if you actually need to see the Stamposaurus working. But it's going to be on a fixed, a fixed thing like this and your card stock is going to be here and you're just going to close it back and forth until you get the image that you need. All right, that's one way to do it. Another way is um, get a humongous block and just slap that sucker on there and do your best. All right. I'm not doing either of those. I'll show you what I'm going to do. And y'all are going to be all googly over it. I know you are. Well, actually, you might, you might be more googly over the next thing I do. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, that's big enough. Okay. So I'm just going to set it down right here. Just set it down. Just old school set it down. We are going to use gray granite. And this is one of our new classic stamping pads. Oh, hi, Night. Uh, Nia. Well, I wrote your name right there. And now it's not there. Nyoka? Nyoka? Am I right? We'll see. I bet I'm not. Okay, so you can... This is the new... The new um, stamp pads. This is the old school one. And they're both wonderful. But this one you can either press here and pop it open. Or you can pull it open here and slide. Slide, Clyde. Okay? So, it's called Gray Granite. It's just a light gray. And I'm just going to go yada, yada, yada all over. Now, y'all know I'm a hot mess today. Hot with a capital flaming. Okay? Um, because I've spent the day at the children's hospital, right? Okay. I mean, it was not an emergency, but I'm just saying these things, these things. So I'm going to lay my cardstock here. Then I'm going to go like this. Now, going like this, I've got a piece of like copy paper here. Nothing to it, just plain old cheap little paper. And I'm doing this because I don't want the excess ink that is right here to get all over my hands. Not like it's going to matter. Hot mess coming through. Hot mess airlines. Pick your seat, please. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing it. Now, you could use a brayer. and go like this, okay? But you just kind of smooth it down. You could use... Please hold. You could use... All right. Your bone folder. And just like this. All right? Okay, so you get the idea. And then you just gently lift it up. You want to lift it up in one fell swoop. I need to look up the word one, the term one fell swoop. I know it's got something to do with birds. But anyway, there you go. Isn't that just the coolest thing? I love it. Now, what can you do with this? Well, you can cut out a part of it. You can punch out a circle here and use it as a little background. You can use the whole thing as a background, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Okay, but we're not doing any of that. Okay, like I said, hot mess. Let me go grab my um, cleaner because I left it over there. Please hold. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton grows high. See, y'all always get a song. I don't even know if you want it. Hey, Vicky, I don't even... I got it right, Nyoko, yay! Um, I don't even know if y'all want a song, but you know, you get what you pay for, right? So, <laughs> you're getting a song, people. All right, so I'm just gonna spritz. Come the morning, you're gonna rise up singing. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. Okay, I gotta tell y'all something really sweet. <sighs> when Wren, granddaughter Wren, she will be five in September, and she's the one we have to take for her checkups over at um, Choa when she's getting her finger pricked, which is every stinking time we go. But I mean, they make it a you know they make it a 
an amazing experience if you can imagine so um thank you Nyoka you're so sweet so Ren I'm, I gotta take a minute and just tell y'all this so we had an important phone call come in and the triage nurse said hey grandma where's where's the singing grandma I'm about I'm about to get um do her blood work I'm like oh dear so I just had to tell my my phone call you just gotta wait a minute so I got the phone right here and I'm singing <laughs> I'm singing to Ren um I think it's called my girl I got sunshine on a cloudy day and when I get to the part that says I guess you'd say what can make me feel this way Ren goes my girl oh my gosh she's sitting there not quite five I'm gonna cry she's sitting there not quite five years old she's got her little finger stuck out and she's she's you know you can tell she'd rather be eating a cookie or watching Sesame Street you could tell right I mean who wouldn't and she's holding her little finger like this and she's wincing her little face and she looks up just as the lady goes prick and she goes my girl my girl oh my gosh y'all praise God for this child she is amazing okay Whew. all right y'all don't y'all don't do who I'll I'll save us all and do it myself okay so now we're gonna do something a little different let me make sure I got all you see how do you like my colorful dish rag I guess I could wash it huh all right I just want to make sure I got everything off I'm gonna do this and see if it comes off on my paper nope so we're good all right now what I should do is have one of those blotters so please hold I'm sorry I told y'all I was a hot mess today I'm just gonna go ahead and get one just go ahead and get one thankfully I found a clean one Woohoo! okay this is called a thingamajig that's what this is all right <laughs> It'll come to me. It will. I know y'all know what this is called. Um, it will come to me. Um, thank you, Angela. Hey, Heather, about time you got back, girlfriend. It is hard to find good help. So, um, I'm using this doodly-doo. And I'm just, I don't even know if that's enough, y'all. Come on. It looks like it is, doesn't it? I'm just going to go like this. Because I don't want ink all over it, okay? I just, this is a big old background stamp. And pretty as it is, hello, I don't really want it to be all that. And I can't really tell you where I, where I put ink. Um, dauber. It's a, I want to say ink dauber, sponge dauber, dauber. Yes, dauber. Um, that's what it is. It's a dauber. But I want to say it's a sponge dauber or an ink dauber. I don't know. Anyway, we've got them in uh, in the catalog. So we are going, and thank y'all. You're right. So I'm just going to set this on top here. And I'm going to take this paper again, lay it down. And I'm just going to go, yada yada. There you go. And let's see. Okay, see? So you're like, wait, it didn't go all the way. Well, that's exactly right because we want it to look old, right? What a technique, eh? Now, just for fun, just for fun, let's do this. We're done with this guy. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Okay. Um, just for fun, we could take the dauber. We don't want to go straight to the paper with it. We want to start here and just kind of... We're kind of weathering the age, the, the ages. We're going to weather the ages right here. These, these right here, them's his ages. Um, <laughs> we were, um, my husband, we call him Ninja Man. Um, I'll tell y'all his name's John, but you know, we don't tell her by that. But anyway, Ninja Man was driving us back from Atlanta. <laughs> and I mean, He's got hearing aids, and I, I I used to be so embarrassed by this, but I'm not anymore. It's a fact of life. Um, I have a partial, 
And I said, your driving is making me grip my partial. And he didn't say anything. I said, are you wearing your hearing aids? I said, your driving's making me grip my partial. <laughs> and my daughter's like dying in the back seat. She thought that was so funny. Okay, so I'm just kind of making it look old. You know, older. And there's other ways to get this kind of look. Like, um... Let me see what time. Oh, we're, we're so good on time, y'all. I can't even believe it. Okay, that was a box that just fell down. And this is me not caring because it can't fall any further than it just did, right? Okay, so here we go. Gonna use this, and I'll show you another way to get a similar effect. Don't get excited. We are gonna do this. Hey, Karen! I'm not, I'm not too crazy tonight. Maybe a little. Maybe a little. Okay, it might have been easier if I dampened it a little bit, but hey, I am ready for the rugged stuff, y'all. Okay, if you like distressing stuff, all right, take your little dauber, and you go, eh, 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 like this, And you see, I'm not, I'm not putting it here first. I'm not stamping off, so to speak, with it. I'm just hitting these, these high pieces like this. This, believe it or not, is such a cool effect. And I really had forgotten to show, to, I didn't think about showing y'all this part. So I do not have an example right in front of me. But I do use this a lot on my vintage -y stuff that I make. Because I do love me some vintage. All right. Now you see that kind of looks a little bit too perfect, so let's let's break that down. We're just gonna do this a little bit more, okay? There you go. Oh well, I tore it a little bit there, but that's okay because you know things happen when it's old and it's been laying in the attic for years and years, right? So my um, precious Savannah son, he's in the Coast Guard, and he gave me some maps, some Coast Guard maps. And they're really paper, like this typing paper. Typing. <laughs> I just showed my age. Um, like this copy paper. Printer paper, whatever you want to call it. And um, I, I always, when I use it, I don't just use the map like it is. I always crush it up and do this to it. So if it's hard for you to imagine, um, just let me know and I'll tell you more about it. Let's see, Kathy, has anyone ever told you you sound like Paula Dean? Well, how about let's make some potato salad? <laughs> well, Nyoka, that's funny because um, I actually lived in Savannah for a really long time, but I've been in Georgia my whole life. So, and when I say, hey, y'all, oh, oh, all right. So, this is my hat. It says, hey, y'all. And that's, I mean, I always say that. I go to people's houses, I'm like, hey, y'all. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. But I found me a hat that says, hey, y'all. And, um, you know, people walk up and go, well, hey. And I'm thinking, what's wrong with them? <laughs> Not really. I'm always nice. I just forget what, which hat I'm wearing. Okay. So that is just like a distressy thing. And you can come back with a with another color. I got some brown here. And I know this is a gray dirt, dirt dauber. <laughs> A gray dauber, but I can put some brown on it. Nobody dies. And then, you know, you can do this kind of stuff. You can use reds and yellows, whatever you want to use. And just keep keep this whole idea going here. And maybe you'll put, you'll put like a, I don't know, like a lighthouse or, or something. I don't know. I mean, to me, when I get into doing stuff like this, it gets so intense and layers and layers and layers. And I love it. And it's, it's just a way to to make things look like you literally pulled it out of the attic. A um, friend of mine has two little girls, um, Heather, uh, Heather and Tammy. It's um, um, Donna. Donna. Donna and Jeremy. Anyway, Donna wanted a letter to Santa. And I had brand new card stock and all this stuff. And by the time I finished... And I, I did the letter like this, but in much lighter colors. I had already printed the letter on regular printer paper. And then I crushed it up, and I did this, and I tore the edges, and I did the edges like this. Got them good and dark, like that. 
and you know if they're torn when you tear them you see this this is the top of the paper here and this is underneath that does that make sense it's like layers okay so you're not really wanting to use this as much as you would want to use this to make it look old and vintagey and i know i'm going down a little rabbit hole here but i'm just letting you know um the santa letter that i did um i had it rolled up and it was I, i'm quite sure i put like a hot wax seal on it but the letter when they opened it was kind of torn like this around the whole edges of the letter and they could read all of it it was really cool really cool um okay so that just gives you an idea of how to utilize these these different techniques if you're doing backgrounds or something like that okay so look at the mess i made <laughs> all right here we go oh i know and heather you gave me a good idea i did type these out and then i ookied all over this with some ink all right so now we are going to make our little book now why would you give somebody a memo book i mean these are what a quarter maybe not even i don't even know um i bought a whole pack of them for very cheap well the cool thing is you find somebody who likes something in particular like there was this one receptionist who loved um turtles i don't know why i don't need to know why she just loved her some turtles all right and i made her this little thing turtles okay so you can personalize it can you go to the store and find something like this with turtles on it i don't think so right but you can show sure enough make it show sure enough i gotta cut this down just a little bit more sorry goodness i'm making a bit of a mess over there oh but look there's one over there too okay here we go let's see laminate them when you redo them yes Oh, thank you, Karen. That is a fun technique. And it doesn't always have to be vintagey stuff, y'all. You can do it. You can do it for a lot of things. Um, Karen, we need a crafting day so you can you can do some of this stuff. All right, so I'm gonna take this to, uh, tape. Did y'all hear that? I'm gonna glue this down with Tumbo. And I've told y'all before I love you all, and I will tell you this, you do not have to order this through Stampin' Up. However, we do carry it. If you have joined my team, you're getting 20% off. But I will tell you this, the big store has this and you can use your 40% off. And that's what I have to say about that, okay? All right. So we don't want glue going down in the hole, right? So I'm just gonna go like this. And by the way, y'all are so sweet for being here on Mondays. I appreciate it so much because typically I would have spent hours in my studio getting ready for this. And I'd be so sad if nobody came to my little party. But today, y'all know it's it's hot mess day. Okay, so this is now different. I mean, it's not ugly. It you know it needs a little love. We're gonna give it some love. All right. Where is here it is. All right. We are gonna use this. I think. Yeah. We'll use this one. Um. And by the way, that stamp I used is called Crackle Paint. And we're going to use the Winds of Change and this little bicycle right here. I love tulips. It's my favorite flower. And it's the only flower, like, if Ninja Man brought me flowers and he gave me... Oh, thank you, Courtney. I love it. Thank you, thank you. Karen, yes, truth. You tell me when you're available, girlfriend. We'll schedule it. Um, so, if Ninja Man were to ever bring me flowers, because I would much rather have a gift card to... You know the craft store I mean please but if he were to he would give me tulips and and then I would not have to take them outside and run over them in the in the car just you know I like put them in the driveway and run over them just to get it over with because I don't want to see them die slowly um, the tulips I would love and and hug and look at every day but any other flowers are probably wouldn't. I mean I love pennies too peonies pennies whichever but um you know who's gonna buy those those are super duper expensive roofer all right these are cute these are all the different things okay now I'm gonna use the little bicycle and I have no idea y'all I have not made this yet it may not be cute but we'll see I'm hoping it will be did I bring a block 
Have I got to get up and go get a block, y'all? I do. I'm sorry. It's right there. Please hold. Please hold. Let's see. Swing low. Sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. All right, there we go. We got our bicycle. Swing low. Sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. All right, we're going to stamp him in. Sometimes I just have to finish part of the song I'm singing. Basic gray. Going to go boop. I like that. Look how cute. Oh, gosh, y'all. I love this bicycle so much. I'll show you what I started with and what I had to abort because, yeah, I tried to cut it. And it was just, it just wasn't enough cardstock on there. I was so sad. But here's the deal. I can color it. Let me see if I can get a little darker. Um, probably if I had black ink, huh? I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels fussing over me. Coming for to carry me home. See, I don't even know. I don't even know if those are the lyrics. But that's what I've always said. You know, it's like you learn a song and you just you just keep singing it the way. <laughs> that's right, Courtney. Swing low, sweet chariot. Um, you learn a song and sometimes you learn the right words and sometimes you don't. We're just going to guess those are the right words. Okay, so I'm using my um, watercolor pencils and I put... <laughs> Here's how, y'all, really, like, I can't even, okay. This one has no washi tape. The color pencils in here have no washi tape, all right? This one has washi tape. Y'all wanna know what washi tape is? It's tape, and it's washi. Okay, and then the top of them, <laughs> they each have washi. Why is this? Well, this was the first set they, they put out, and it goes from 1 to 13, all right? This is the second set. It starts at 14 and it goes to 23. Well, here's the thing about that. I would just pour them all out, which I'm about to do again. I'd pour them all out and then I'd have to like line them up by number because I don't want the 1 through 13s being in the 14 through 23. I mean, please, let's at least keep some sort of order around here. Right? <laughs> so now, if you got washi tape on you, you go in the box where the washi tape is. I don't even know if any of y'all... Oh, I love it. Well, I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. Does it go, a band of angels fussing over me? Or did I make that part up? You tell me, Mayoka. Okay, so I'm using, I don't even know what colors, because I told y'all, I've had a day, okay? All right, I do know I want my bicycle to be teal, because pretty much everything, and I'm sorry y'all gonna have to see me color it, because um, I did not carry all this stuff with me today. I'm gonna go with, yeah, this is the right color. This is Bermuda Bay. What I picked up originally was Coastal Cabana. I love these two colors. I do, I do. Just kind of color this in a little bit. You know, to me it looks a little vintagey if it's if it's this color. I don't know, maybe it should be red, right? Here we go. And I mean, don't look close because uh, actually I can zoom in a little bit. I'll zoom in. I made it up. Ha! <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Well, I like it. A band of angels fussing over me. Oh, there you go. Coming after me. I shared your live because it's so fun. Yay, Courtney. Woo, woo. Okay. All right. Thank you, Courtney. You are so sweet. Courtney is my friend who sells paparazzi. And she does some really fun lives. She plays her flute. And when I say she plays her flute, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, you get to name the song. I would have y'all name the song, but I don't even know what the song is named. So, you know, we're just going to go with that. But um, you can name the song. And 
I think I guessed Knights in White Satin once and got it right. I don't know. But if you if you guess and get it right, you go into a drawing. Yep. So I don't know if y'all know what paparazzi is, but you need to check out Courtney Daisy. She's in the list down here. Click on her name and go give her some love on her lives. And then my friend Heather Witty is a 31 rep. And I know I'm not calling it the right thing. It's not a rep. It's not a consultant. It's a... No, it is a consultant. It's not a demonstrator. I, I, I think I'm not even doing the colors right. I mean, the tires. Okay, hold on. There we go. The tires need to be all the way. So Heather does lives also. And she's got a group called Bag Full of Hope. And who else is on here that has... Let's see. I'm looking at y'all's names. And... Let's see. Yes, very pretty jewelry. Um, here we go. And my friend Angela Webster McRae has just published her her um, first cozy mystery. Angela, top, type it in at the bottom because I don't want to get the title wrong. It's super simple. It's emerald. In, oh, Emerald Envy, am I right? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm yeah, on my brain. I mean, it's Children's Hospital Day. I, I, I got nothing. I, and honestly, we did cry a little bit. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna say it, but we did cry a little bit because it's, it's just, it's just hard. It's just hard to do that. But I don't want to bum everybody out. Um, thank God, we're so great, great, grateful. We're so great. <laughs> Through my pencil, y'all. It went right over, right over my shoulder. I kid you not. My dog eats pencils. I'll be right back. Emerald and emeralds and envy. I think that's it. Emeralds and envy. Am I right, Angela? Help me here. Emeralds and envy. Yes, yes. So go to Angela's page, and um, and look at her. See, all of y'all. We need. To, we just need to support each other. Yes, it is a wonderful book. I read it cover to cover. Most of the time, sitting in my garden. Don't be impressed. Y'all know I can't grow nothing. But, um, but you can see pictures of my garden on my blog, sixlittleacres.wordpress.com. And it's S-I-X for six. Now, let's see. We want a brown basket. I'm doing exactly this right here. I'm just so sorry y'all have to watch me color it. Now, that's the wrong color brown. Y'all see what I'm doing? But guess what? We can layer that mess. Here we go. Up. Uh, really? Guess where my sharpener is? That's okay. I'm not feeling real sharp today. So, hey, that's all right. We'll use a different one. And we'll just do this. How about that? Yeah. Take that basket. And then we can kind of put some extra lines in it. Oh, and we've had some drama today, too. Um, besides the Children's Hospital. I mean, you know, it's just, it's it's that way. It's just that way. So I'm putting in some, look, tulips, y'all. Tulips, they can be pink. Pink tulips, which really and truly they would be, I don't know. I'm going to use this big, bold, fluorescent, greenish color because it just adds some color. I hear Ninja Man. He's out there at his fire. Ooh, how about some red ones? I got some red roses for a blue lady. Send them to the prettiest girl in town. And if they do the trick, I'll hurry back to pick. Okay, so that song, I guess I shouldn't be singing it because it's for a girl, but you know what I mean. Daddy used to sing it all the time. Mm -hmm. Something about a wedding gown, I don't even know. Okay, there we go. Now, this would be finished except look at the ground, all right? I know they gave us a little ground there with the, um, with the little stamp, but hey, we need some more ground. So I'm going to do this. You remember when we were in school and we do it this way? 
That's right. I'm going to do this a little bit, kind of give a little extra shadow under those tires because, you know, maybe it's been raining. I don't know. And, oh, this is always a good color, the old olive. And by the way, that was basic gray. This is old olive. And wouldn't it have been nice if I told you all the colors? But see, then you won't come back, right? You'll be like, oh, we know everything. We don't need to come back. And I'll be like, wait, wait. Okay, so now we got our little flowers. We've colored, color, let's see, t -t 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 -t. I think we got everything. Um, maybe, hey, let's put just a little bit of Daffodil Delight. Yeah, that's what it needs. Look at that coming through. There we go. I'm even going to come up here like this. How about that? Boy, I tell you all what, I'm living dangerously. Look at that. What? Okay. There we go. All right. Got to move all of these guys, but don't get excited because, hello, some of us have washi tape. I'll be able to figure it out. I won't be here all night trying to line up my pencils. Okay. Guess what we're going to do, y'all? Woohoo! We are going to use the Big Shot. It takes me a minute, y'all. It takes me a minute. Okay, we are using the Stitch Shape Framelits, which y'all know, y'all know, I have said a hundred times, they do not come in this box. They come in an envelope. But I use them in the box. Let's see. Now I gotta see, is it gonna fit? Okay, that's just too stinking big. It's just too big. So this should be, well, hang on, hang on. I did a black circle. Where'd I put it? I don't even know. All right, hold on. Oh, Y'all, hold on, hold on. Don't go away. Hang on. I gotta find my other little circle. Where'd I put it? Oh, hello, here it is. Here's my black circle. That came out of this one, okay? Now we are gonna take off some of this cute, cute bicycle. I know I'm sad too, but it's okay. It's all right. We need it to fit on our little thing. And now y'all be thinking, be thinking, you can make these for Easter baskets. You can make them for your, um, you transfer all your dyes to a case. Yes, that's what I do. That's what I do right here. Doesn't it make life easier, Naoka? Um, because I mean, they just they just do so much easier for me. Um, and I have washi tape, and I know how to use it. Yes, Heather, you do. Um, anyway, y'all be thinking how you can use this. Like you can do a superhero theme for little boys' Christmas stocking, or you can do unicorns for little girls. You know, we're all about the unicorns and the mermaids, right? Okay, I am going to be sad about this right here, but, you know, we, we'll survive. We will survive, people. Okay, all right. Oh, hold on. Okay. Who doggies? Okay, do I say who doggies a lot? I think I do. I really think I do. There's a few things I do in saying who doggies is one of them. Oh, y'all, I got this from Stampin' Up! Um, this week. It's a 3D embossing folder plate, all right? Stampin' Up! has done something different with their embossing folders, which I'm not using today, but I've used it in the past. Um, Y'all saw it with this right here, probably my first Monday Fun Day, where we did, um, <laughs> or I could be making this up entirely, but we did this background, like a dotted Swiss thing, and we did this with the Big Shot, and it's a plastic folder that you put your, your card stock in and close it and then run it through Big Shot. Well, Stampin' Up! now has um, different embossing folders. They're not, the, I think Stampin' Up! and Sizzix got mad at each other, but I could be wrong. I don't want to start a rumor, but I'm pretty sure they're, they're divorced. Like, they're not even friends. They don't even talk when they pass each other in the hall. It's pretty sad, but anyway. So what they did, they reconfigured embossing folders as well as their dies, which is fine with me. I don't, I don't care if they're married to Sizzix or not. What I love is purple, and I know that's got a, a reflection on it. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to turn it so it won't. But um, this is going to go with the, um, the probably the big thick embossing folders. 
I don't know yet because I haven't played with it, but I wanted y'all to know it's out there. It's only $10. Hello, we can all get these. Um, yes, Heather, you're going to need it. Um, let's see. And sometimes I combine the stamp set and matching dies in one case. Yes, I have done that. But you know what I do? I forget. Can you believe that? I know you can't. But yes, I do. I forget. So um, maybe we'll play with that embossing folder next Monday. Okay, so here I'm going to keep it simple because I just, I just want y'all to know sometimes you can do a super simple project. All right. Um, I had already cut this out. It's just black cardstock, and I used one of these hoop teeter circle things. Okay, um, stitched stitch shape framelits. And okay, here's another thing. I usually write on here when um, when these are current, mainly because I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator. So I've got 19-20 on here, but I also had. 18-19 okay but for right now all that matters is 19-20 so I know that they're current and I can use them in a uh, demonstrating type video all right or projects or whatever so I'm just going to go yeah 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 like that and hmm, where do I want it I think I want it right here I think I do I just love this background I mean it's kind of like I kind of wish I'd used a brown now or maybe a black I don't know but um but I do like it now you can go as fancy as you want you can take a little bit of um, some kind of string or ribbon and pull it out here and fold it over so it just has like a little tab on it or you can do it just like this it doesn't matter and I mean is this pretty no but <laughs> my point is you can decorate these things and they are so stinking cute when you put your own little flare to them. Where are they? Hold on. Hold on. Like these guys that I showed you to begin with. Okay? These are all just cheap little notepads. Now, what if you walked into your doctor's office? Or, I mean, you know, he might not even give you a shot if you give everybody one. I can't say. I can't promise. But, hey. You may not have to even get a shot because you brought them you brought them a gift. It's like when you cross the bridge and the troll is up under there, you gotta give him something, right? Okay. Alright, and then this <laughs> Y'all I'm so tired. <laughs> ah, trolls and bridges and doctors and shots. Yep. Okay, so this um right here, this came from one of our um gosh, all right, my demonstrator friends. So cute, we could have done that for our drill book covers in high school marching band. Yes, you could. And Heather says, I do that. I forget when I put the matching dies in with stamps. I am, I have two, Heather, and I don't want to buy those dies again <laughs> just because I can't find them. I want to say this is Memories and More, little piece, little cards. I showed you all those a couple of weeks back with the nautical set. And... Okay, I'll grab those. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if y'all need a song again, but I can't think of one right now. So just hold everything. Here we go. Oh, uh-oh. Sitting in the morning sun. I'll be sitting when the evening's done. Watching the ships roll in. And I'll watch them roll away again. Okay, I love that song. Like I'll be singing it now for a week. This is Memories and More, little cards. They come, you know, the, this size, okay? So, see, they're that size. And, for example, okay, you want to give one of these guys one of these things? Hold on. Okay, no, nope, you don't want our story on there. But you could actually cut that off if you wanted. Um, let me just, okay. Hello, here we go. Now, yes, that snowflakes in the background, but this is my point. Look how easy it is for you to just throw something together like this and give it as a gift, right? Oh, hey, Marcia. How are you doing, Marcia D's? I hadn't seen you in ages, girlfriend. So, these are so simple and so easy. And no, you don't want snowflakes around your, your lighthouse, but I'm just saying, right? Um, Just for fun, let's... Let's see if I've got one here that I'm... Okay, no. 
That's not good. All right, we'll try this one. Lo and behold, look at that. It fits. It fits just right. That is crazy talk right there. Look at that. I mean, it's green and blue, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of under pressure over here. I don't, I don't really have a... <laughs> I don't really have a good one to show you because I'd have to go through all these cards. But you get what I'm saying, right? They're super simple. I love the Sailing Home Suite and the Christmas item. Yes, Courtney. Oh, Courtney, I know you do. Courtney loves Christmas, y'all. And I enjoy so much when she posts her little Christmas pictures on Facebook. I'm just like, yes, post more Christmas. And people are complaining that these stores have Christmas stuff. No, I'm over there looking at every bit of it and refiguring all my decorations. I'm not saying I'm buying it all because, y'all, I don't need everything. Um, but I'm just saying, I do love to just take some time and go look. Okay, this this will have to be put up a little bit later because it's being a little, little silly. But this one here, I just put a piece of white cardstock. No, I didn't either. I had one of those um, Memories and More cards here because it's got a little elf guy. I just um, glued these guys on and they coordinate with the with the paper on the background. And there you go. All right. And this one here, I just stuck on Naughty or Nice. And this was last year's. This is actually flopped. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's soft and poofy right there. And um, this year, I did get a little bit of a hint of what we're going to get. Hey, Yvonne. So good to see you on here. Thank you for stopping in. Um, so I saw some of the Christmas um, holiday catalog stuff. And it is gorgeous. Y'all, this season, it's all about foil. I mean, there's foil this, foil that. And there's rumor there's even some wrapping paper. I don't know. I hadn't seen it. But all y'all that are on my team, you're going to get this uh, previewed on Tuesday. And if you want to be one of the ones to preview everything before anybody else and order before anybody else, go here. Sign up $99. You get $155 worth of fabulousness. And you choose your own, whatever you want. And um, that is good through August 31st and you'll get a $10 uh, coupon in the mail and you'll use that you can use that um, the month after you subscribe like if I mean after you join like if you join in July and I have some friends that joined in July um, you'll get to use your coupon in August and it's 10 bucks I mean you know free money so they got to pick $155 worth instead of 125 because they're giving you $30 extra right now if you are not ready to join, because you don't have to work, y'all. I mean, I'm not going to be calling you saying, what did you sell this week? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to... Did y'all see me hold my hold this up like a phone? I don't think you did. But I will not be bugging you about what did you sell and all this stuff. All I want to know is what you want. If you want to do videos and you want to try and sell online and you want to do a blog and all this stuff, or if you want to host events in your home or whatever I'll help you with that if you just want to grab all that stuff for $155 and call it a day and never do another thing that's fine too there's no stamping up police there's not it's just fun y'all and I love it so much and I'm sorry this project's ugly but it does give you an idea it does give you an idea about what we can do and I shouldn't say it's ugly because you know somebody's gonna like it but this is gorgeous. I love this right here. And I mean, you can do so much with this. You, you can, you can want use some of these dies and cut it out. It can be your background like that. Bada bing. You can put other colors with it, whatever. So that's what I got for y'all tonight. Um, thank you for putting up with me. Um, I think when, when I, when I actually when I actually get done tonight, I'm just going to take a deep breath because um, literally I was in the car like 20 minutes before I went on live. And um, we just had quite a day. Um, Ren is doing really well. She's, um, she's, you wouldn't even know she was, um, you wouldn't even know this child has cancer. She's, she's doing great. Um, but we know it and 
days like this, I mean, it, you know, they got to have a children's hospital in a big place like Atlanta, right? Um, there's no easy way around that unless we have a helicopter. So if any of y'all have a helicopter, we'll definitely take a ride. <laughs> oh, hey, Donna. Um, Karen, yes, yes, amazing deal. Courtney, yes, I love Christmas too. And, um, oh, thank you for the love, y'all. And all of you who came in late, if you would, just go back to the beginning and you're going to see some fun stuff that I did with a background stamp. And you're going to see uh, two different techniques we can use with that. And this is the project we made with it, which I've already said it's not gorgeous, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I kind of think it's the black. I kind of think if I were to have cut out this one, this circle, and put it under that, I think I would like it better. Didn't I take something apart earlier? I did. You know what I did? I took something apart from my um, YouTube channel. I did. All right, y'all hold on just a minute. I just want to see if we like this because I've got just a couple more minutes on here. Let's just do this and see if that's what's bugging me. How about that? See, I am your full service. Full service. I don't even play. I will take what I've made and take it apart. And you notice I didn't pull the black off. Well, I'm going to teach you something else. Donna, that's okay. Hey, long as you came. And Donna, Ted, um, Ted and David have been chit-chatting, so um, maybe you and I need to catch up a little bit. Um... Okay, let's see if this is the problem, y'all. Oh, and let me tell you about these. Two things. Number one, I have a metal, a metal, um, like what auto mechanics use for screws and stuff. It's got a big magnet in it, and it stays on my table. What am I saying? I got one right here. See? I got one right over here. And it, it's magnetic, so it doesn't, it, it won't leave my little pan. Um, so when you're using these things here, you just need to either put them right back or get you something like this. This was maybe, maybe three or four dollars. It's banged up because I, I don't know. I don't actually throw it around on purpose, but it definitely flies across the room on occasion. Um, it stuck to the side of my little Rascog. See, I can remember that. Rascog. My little Rascog cart from, um... Ikea. I could hardly remember Ikea, but I sure did get Rascog. All right, let's see if this is what's bugging me. I think it is, y'all. I think that might be what's bugging me. Okay, so we're just going to cover up the black because if I go to pulling it off, you know, we're just going to have a hot mess. A hotter mess than the mess that's already hot. Now, there's a, there's a way that this goes. It doesn't go this way. You see, because these lines are like that, watch your lines. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but I'm kind of like a, I kind of like things a certain way. That was what was bothering me, y'all, the black. How about that? This is good cardstock. You can just beat it up a little bit, peel it off, do what you need to do. I do like this better. I like this a lot better. How, how about y'all? Y'all like this better or you like it better black? Either way, um, this is our little, our little project. So... Please do stop by my store, look around, look at the clearance rack. $99 will get you $155. And if you place an order under $150, please use this July host code here. Can you see all of that? And um, thank you all again for coming. Don't forget, next Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I'll be here again. And also my YouTube channel, Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed. Um, check it out there. I, Y'all, I got 336 subscribers. I got like, I don't know, five subscribers in, in about a day. I mean, it's awesome. God has blessed me so much. So, I mean, does God bless subscribers? I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. So, <laughs> love you guys. Thank you for coming. It is 8.59. We did it. Woo! All right. I didn't think we could, but we did it. All right. Toodles, y'all. Bye-bye.